Cheers. Good morning. Good morning, my Jello babies. I'm starting off my week with this matcha taro latte. I had this latte at Matcha Bowl and it was so good. So I tried to recreate it. It's not the best, but it's drinkable. But I have so many ways I want to improve this. Anyways, I am running out to get some Thai food with a friend. So I'm just gonna like leave this in the fridge for now so I can have it more in the afternoon. But I'm excited. Look at you. I will get the mixed salad, mm -hmm. the fried chai pancakes, and then can I get pad thai with um, beef, please? Mm -hmm. And no eggs and no peanuts. Thank you. Old lady. Wait, my friends look so good. I take my job very seriously in testing every new Trader Joe's ice cream flavor, especially if it's dairy free. This is the Okie Dokie Oat Non Dairy New Zealand inspired caramel swirl. And I feel like a lot of the oat um, options at Trader Joe's has been a pretty good lately. Oh my god, it kind of melted on my way. I'm gonna dig into the caramel. Do you guys hear that? I don't love it. It's like kind of bland, I feel like. Mm. I've had better flavors. I came to work out before I pick out tonight. Having a watch party with all the yummy yummy foods. Guys, Korean fried chicken is elite. Mm. <laughs> the best part is the end. あ、ちょっと。あ、だ。あ、NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。NH。N
not out of nowhere but i just didn't expect this process to be like taking off so fast honestly because for me i was like thinking about it for you know a few months and i was like 2023 is going to be the year that i do it and i got in a call and he's like all right so are you ready to like do it in the next two weeks and i'm like oh my god i don't know so but it was like really eye-opening because i was able to you know talk about my concerns um about egg freezing freezing embryos just like all of that and i was talking to a friend recently about how i never thought you know i would be talking about this at this age like i mean even like two three years ago i was like oh i'm not gonna freeze my eggs i'm not gonna go through that and now the fact that i'm like seriously considering all of this process just makes me think wow this is this is wild i really want to be transparent about my whole process like what got me into thinking about this um just because i want to be like a source of inspiration for a lot of you young women out there because i wish i had known all of this information honestly when i was much younger because all of this information is being thrown at me right now and i'm like kind of feeling very overwhelmed so um i just don't want you guys to feel the way that i do right now i am adding in some superfood powder mix into my yogurt bowl now also a lot of my friends were saying that you know before you go into freezing your eggs your diet is very important so you have to cut out alcohol you should try to cut out um a lot of sweets gluten just try to eat as healthy as possible i'm not going to do it for another like two weeks but i just want to make sure i'm like easing into myself to a healthier lifestyle anyways if any of you guys have gone through um freezing your eggs embryos just all of that process let me know because i do need a little bit more hope in this scary scary process here's my delicious fruit bowl mm. i am here to get acupuncture um because apparently when you're freezing your eggs acupuncture is a really good compliment and i just know in asian culture you know so many women rely on acupuncture um to get be more fertile so i just really believe in eastern medicine so while i'm going through this whole process i'm going to focus on coming to get acupuncture every week as well so today for the first time we're going to be focusing on fertility and just my overall anxiety I just can't wait until the morning comes. Coffee and John of she my eyes and clouds and so man and sang a so girl. I tell people during their fertility process, don't drink. Because it's Chinese medicine usually like after like three months, they this is your oven. We want to warm the oven. And make sure it's nice and warm for a future child. So everything we do is warm. Eating foods that's warm. Guys, I'm finally trying the Saqqara Life Meals. I've never tried one of their meals and I want to see if it lives up to the hype. We have kimchi banh mi dumplings. I really don't know how to feel about it when they have kimchi and western meals, but... I will let you know, so I'm gonna choose which one I want to have today. Mm. So I'm having this kimchi banh mi situation. Let me just say, this is not real kimchi. If my mom had this, she would be not the happiest, let's just say. So I'm just eating the salad. My first meal choice is not the best. <laughs> Good morning, Adaban. Good morning. So as you guys know, yesterday's dinner was an absolute fail in my terms. But I had to pick at the breakfast yesterday and it's their cherry tea cake. <laughs> and it was 
so good. I had to stop myself from eating it because I was like, I actually want to enjoy this for a breakfast. So this is what it looks like. A little mini apple. so different when someone else is doing right. it for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the best part again you hear done. I don't care what anyone says. Nope. The shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> best part. The hairstyles, the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can just go home like this. Right? <laughs> we have some people that just come in just for this. Yeah. And they get their hairstyle. Mm, I would do it. She's in heaven. <laughs> just slip up a little bit. I'm getting ready to go out to dinner now and everyone's been talking about the spatula hack on TikTok, the Korean makeup glass skin look and I was like, I don't want to jump on trends and I finally got the spatula to test it out and you guys, I am shook at how well this works. Like, this is going to be part of my everyday makeup routine now because it's not even hard, it's easy to clean up but look at the skin. Look at the skin! It's insane! But because I was like, you know, so shook. Um, I'm running up behind now. Tonight, I'm meeting two of my really good friends. I haven't seen them in the longest time ever. Um, we're just gonna go get some sushi. And another beauty hack that I learned this week is, everything I learned about beauty is on TikTok now. Rare Beauty, this is shade Mesmerize, and it's super glittery, by the way, but they were like, you need to try using this on your eyes. And honestly, I didn't think it was gonna work. I just did it because I wanted to hop on a TikTok trend. Classic me, Kunde. I am now obsessed with how this looks on my eyes. I don't know who needs to hear this, but apply Rare Beauty's new highlighter on your eyes to glisten like a disco ball. And it's especially great for people who are lazy with their makeup but still want some extra glitter because a lot of times like glitter can be really overwhelming you know look at this finish so cute anyways it's been a good week uh for learning new makeup experimenting with makeup and i think even though i don't really have like special events to go to just doing applying a little bit of makeup makes me feel so much more alive and better maybe i've been going nowhere lately it's time to start all over and go for it cause they don't even they don't even know me yet so let's actually have a toast tonight for our love and care. Cheers. And their successes. So thank you so much for being here. And I love these events because I get to see familiar faces. Oh my god. It's really nice. It's so good. I think you need to get it. Been 
influence. I got this sweater. <laughs> I feel like so many girls wear this and it's like so trendy in a way because it literally says ski, but I'm going on a ski trip soon and I've never gone skiing. So I was looking for ski outfits and I was like, you know what, for my first time, I really just want to wear something cheesy and kind of get in the spirit. Um, so I honestly didn't think the quality of this would be nice or anything, but once I just tried it on, it's so cute. I am so happy I got this. It's kind of like when you buy workout clothes as motivation to work out. This is going to give me motivation to try skiing, but it's really warm and it's like so cold. It's like one degree outside today. So I think I'm just going to wear this at home and kind of get comfy in it. It's so cold out. It's so cold inside. The last thing I want to have is a cold salad because in traditional Chinese medicine, like especially in the winter, you're not really supposed to eat like raw vegetables. It's very cooling and everything in the salad looks so cooling. I just am not a big salad person, but you know, I have this. I don't want to waste food. So, but I feel like in general, a lot of the ingredients in here can easily bloat me. I'm like shivering eating this right now. I just want to be very honest with you guys because I want you guys to spend money wisely. I personally wouldn't spend that much on their salads and their meals. Their breakfast items are phenomenal. But at the same time, if you do the breakfast cost, it's like $25 to $30 per breakfast because of the way system works. So if you order everything together, it's slightly cheaper, but I'm not paying money for this. I would pay 10 bucks for their breakfast maybe, but for their other meals, I don't know, I'm gonna give this to my husband. And instead, I'm gonna have a warming croissant. And this is not good. Mm. Here's another Trader Joe's item I have to try out. It's the squiggly cut noodles. It looks like ramen, but if you open it, it doesn't. So we're gonna try making this tonight and I will give you my honest opinion as always. I wonder if it's gonna be spicy at all. Um, but the guy who was checking me out said it's really good. So let's try it. some kimchi and some garnishes. What do you think? It's good. It's all right, it's a little bland, no? I think it's bland. I'm gonna give this a try. Put some peanut butter in mine. Oh, peanut butter in yours? Okay. Yeah, you're all right. It's a little bland. But not bad. Try it with the peanut butter in there. Mm. It's far better than Sakara, I'll tell you that. But this is the one with the peanut butter. Mmm! Oh, that's so good! Okay, you know how I talked about the spatula technique a few days ago? I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. I wanna show you guys how it works. So just grab one of your favorite foundations. You can do it on your hand, but I just do it on here and then you kinda wanna like spread it in a line and you wanna just kind of like make sure you get an even coating throughout the line. And then when you do apply it, you wanna make sure you're doing it kind of like from an angle like this, and then you're gonna angle it the other way as you go around. Okay. I mean, and this gives you the most even application. I don't even need a beauty blender or makeup brush. Look at this. It's like the best technique 
I've learned this year. And you can go over and over again on the same spots. And it's not going to leave any like weird marks because you're just going in with an even spatula like this. My makeup is done, super natural. And I just have to show you guys the best creation, best find ever this year. Dairy-free coconut whipped cream. Sometimes I eat it with fruit, but a lot of times I literally just whip this out and have spoonsfuls of this whipped cream. It's literally the best thing that's happened to me in 2023. Is that sad? No. Is that kind of sad? Yes. But it's so good. You have to try. Bye. Enjoy. Stunning. I've tried this. It's delicious. Enjoy. 